Yo, 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 checking in again. Today I just wanted to address a small issue um, around domestic violence amongst our youth. Now I've been getting a lot of calls within the last six to eight months um, from young women that um, have experienced psychological and physical you know, abuse from their so-called partners. Um, and I've referred them on to other agencies, etc. But there's a lot of them that feel that you know they, they can't go anywhere and they don't know what to do. Um, so I'm hoping that individuals that do watch this will pass on information um, to myself that can support some of these young women even more than we've currently been doing. Now, it's sad because there's a lot of 16 to 22 year olds that are going through going through this amongst us in our community. And what I'm about to say is, is might be a little bit controversial, but everything I express in these videos are my own opinion and experiences that I've had with perpetrators and victims of this particular issue. Now. There's a lot of girls that are out there right now, today, that I've worked with that purposely go out there to get, get themselves a name brand man. A man that's got name on the road for all the wrong reasons and they're pushing themselves up in order to get these particular individuals to have relationships with them. So if you put yourself in that situation, you can't really be vexed that when two, three months, a year into the relationship, it starts going on nasty with you after the, the niceness has gone. And then you start getting vexed that this individual is doing things to you. I think you need to kind of smarten up on that front. However, there's also a mass group of girls that don't know. But what I would be saying is, if you are thinking about going out with an individual or you're thinking about having a long-term relationship with a guy, you need to be asking some fundamental questions. You know what I mean? Who is he? You know what I mean? What is his personality? Who are his, who are his companions? You know, who is his family like? Speak to his mum. You know what I mean? And speak to people that are close to him that, you know, they will be able to give you an insight into this individual. But if it's just a geezer that you know that's in a club that's got a big tum on and he's got a big car and he's well known for shutting and he's well known for punching up, man, then really you kind of need to be thinking about what you're doing. And I think it's a shame that there's a lot of young girls that are out there that are intelligent. You know, some girls are going to college, some girls are going to university, academically smart, but in terms of common sense it's just like um, there's nothing them that are out there finding these individuals but then also to the man as well because it's not just for the females you know what i mean like imagine if that was your mum or your sister that you found out there was a man punching her up and strangling her and making her black out and all of these things you know what i mean you'd be vexed you get me and that same feeling that you just probably thought in your head when i just said that you're thinking that you'd probably do this or you probably do that just imagine that that's somebody else's daughter that's somebody else's sister that you're fasting with and you're grips up. You know, if you've got a problem with the girl and you probably had a big argument and you don't, um, you're not connecting or whatever, just leave the girl alone and leave her be. Punching her up and strangling her and doing all of them things is not really going to make you a man. I think you should pick on somebody your own size. You know what I mean? Find someone your own size that you can probably try grips up and strangle up and maybe then, you know what I mean, you'll probably meet your, um, you meet your match. I just think it's, a, it's not really a big man thing. You know, I mean, to be gripsing up girls and strangling them and going on with yourself. I just don't respect it whatsoever. And I think real men don't respect it either. So the message I'm just putting out there to, to, to the young women is be much smarter about the decisions that you make. To the man, them, fix up. If you are doing them things, fix up. Um, and like I said, everything that I've expressed in this video is my opinion and the experiences um, that I've had um, amongst young people and young people that are going through it right now. So it's not of my own um I've just, I haven't just made this video just for the sake of saying it, you know, I mean, there's some, some serious issues going on with young people that I've worked with um, currently, um, and a lot of it needs to stop, we need to try and break the cycle, it's real action, youth in motion, it's about turning real talk into real action, peace. <laughs>